In terms of our success over the last seven years, our success has been based upon our model of self-delivery. So unlike a lot of the rail contractors in the UK market, we have set a vision of self-delivery. So that creates its own challenges because utilisation is a huge issue when you have your own workforce and you have your own plant. But actually from a quality point of view, from a safety point of view, that's a key part of how our success has been founded. Safety is paramount. Um, we can deliver these projects um, successfully, on time, on budget, but if we were to harm or hurt any of our staff, that's then seen as a failure. We managed to develop over a period of time a um, pile cap or seven pile caps that ensured that 93% of our foundations are now 610 piles, the 7% are one metre auger piles. That's uh, an, an increase of about 35%. Um, which is amounted in some significant program cost and environmental um, savings on the project. And one weekend we achieved 111 foundations. Um, that was a mix of, I think, 90 to 100 of 610 CHS and the rest concrete order. Electrification is seen as the only technology that can provide significant carbon savings as well as the required train performance. I think we proved to everybody that we're capable of delivering big projects. I think with the backing of NG, that will give us huge opportunities. I think it underpins the business. It doesn't change our core principles and values, and it doesn't change our model in terms of delivery. But what it does do, it gives us a, a financial backing that Network Rail, I'm sure, and High Speed 2 will look at.